Hello, Cosmic Voyagers. Welcome back to where we untangle the universe's biggest mysteries while trying not to trip over our own feet. I'm your host, and today we're diving deep into the quantum pool of love. Spoiler alert, it's the force, it's physics, it's orgasms, heck, it's even the unified field theory. Buckle up because things are about to get weird and wonderful. Ever wonder why Yoda was so zen? Or why your yoga instructor seems to have the secrets of the universe? Well, strap in, because we're about to connect the dots between the force, physics, and something that might make you blush. Spoiler alert number two, it's all about love. Let's start with the heavy stuff, the unified field in physics. Picture the universe as a cosmic smoothie, and at its core is this magical elixir called love. It's the glue holding everything together, from galaxies to your grandma's secret cookie recipe. The universe, my friends, is just one big love fest. Now, let's talk about the big O orgasms. Turns out, the sweet symphony of consensual pleasure is like plugging into the cosmic power grid. It's not just about getting your freak on, it's about tapping into the universal groove and riding the love wave. So, next time you're feeling frisky, just remember, you're contributing to the cosmic symphony of love. Let's talk about chai, spirit, god, source all the heavy hitters in the metaphysical game. Turns out, they're just different names for the same cosmic cocktail love. It's the universe's way of saying, hey, I love you so much, I'm gonna wear a bunch of different hats just to keep things interesting. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do we tap into this cosmic tinder of love? Well, folks, it's simpler than swiping right. It's about recognizing the love in everything, from the tiniest subatomic particle to the vastness of the cosmos. Love is the GPS guiding us through the cosmic highway, and we're all just hitchhikers on this wild ride. If you're enjoying this love-infused roller coaster of wisdom, hit that subscribe button like it's the last chocolate bar on Earth. And for the true seekers of